I have heard it said that Traveler's Rest is a hidden gem in Nashville. Well, I don't want it to be hidden anymore. I believe that Traveler's Rest has a unique niche in the historical community in Nashville. It's the only site that I know of that can tell 1,000 years of history from the Native American settlement to the coming of Europeans to this part of the, um, the state before Tennessee was even a state. I think that Traveler's Rest is a really special place and I feel really called to work here with these really professional, talented colleagues that I have to tell the stories in a really holistic and transparent way about as many people as we know about that would have lived here over the course of that thousand year history. Well, Traverse Rest is really an amazing place. It's a true oasis in the heart of Nashville. Um, the building here dates back to the late 18th century with later additions. Uh, visitors and people who live here really want to learn more about the earlier origins of um, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, um, particularly with unique components going back all the way to the Mississippian period of prehistory. You have well over a thousand years uh, plus here to explore and to learn about, um, which I think makes it completely unique um, within you know, the realm of this area. Education, of course, is important to our young people and for them to know the foundation of the city where they're, they're growing up in and to learn a little bit about local history. And so to be able to share with the next generations to give an opportunity for these young people to learn about their local history, just something for them to identify with, something for them to research, something for them to read about, and hopefully they can get a, a sense of what it was like before they got here. And a place like Traveler's Rest is really um, one of the most significant properties uh, that I know of to be able to do that because you all do tell so many great stories here and there's something for everyone to draw some kind of experience and relate to. Well, you know, I come out here for meetings quite often, either dames meetings or board meetings here for Traveler's Rest. And there's nothing I love more before or after a meeting than walking the property and seeing the children coming through. I love the school groups, the scout groups, um, because that definitely speaks to the future, the carrying forth the vision that those first dames started. History education is important to me, and especially as I try to teach history uh, to all of the different school children that come here on site here at Traveler's Rest. Uh, the children can learn a little bit of history, participate in different crafts and activities, but take away kind of a memory as well that they actually got to stand on a historic site and visit a historic home. It'll be the 225th anniversary of the founding and building of Traveler's Rest. Of course, we need to expand our facilities and we need to make sure that we preserve all the, the resources that we have as carefully as possible. I think we continue to need, need to do research on, um, on the Native American settlement and also on the enslaved community. You know, Traverse Rest has just an incredible staff and um, they tell the stories uh, so well here and are incredibly professionally um, experienced and able to um, contemplate all sorts of experiences and stories. It's really um, amazing that there's an opportunity to build that endowment up in order to continue to grow those educational programs. I think that's just uh, something that, that really would benefit a site that's already on such an incredible path like Traveler's Rest. As any homeowner would know, a house requires constant upkeep and maintenance. Compound that by a 200-year-old house with barn and outhouse and gardens and smokehouse and weaving house, and there's a lot of maintenance and um, upkeep. And frankly, renovation, restoration, preservation that have to be done for this house, for it to last another 50 years, 20 years even, uh, we've got to do some major uh, work. And that's gonna take dollars. Some various things have been identified here that are of really compelling uh, circumstances where there's um, an issue at the addition that really needs to be addressed significantly for the long-term sustainability and future of this house. It has, it's actually an immediate need. 
So a big, big part of my vision for this place is to know that it will be safely here for the next 100 years um, and more to be able to tell those stories and enable our board and our staff to tell the stories um, and educate children and adults about everything that would have happened here. To get to that vision, we need a lot of friends. We need a lot of help. We need a lot of support, many levels of support, but clearly financially would be one of those. We are undertaking a capital campaign in order to help fundraise to stabilize and preserve this place. The goal at the moment is $3 million. The largest portion of that is devoted to the actual restoration of the house. In order to bridge the gap from our vision to um, reinforcing the home, in order to bring that to fruition, it's going to take financial support. As president of the board, I've already made my pledge, made my gift. Um, I would encourage all of Traveler's Rest's friends to consider what it is they could do. So we're asking all of our friends, all of the friends of Traveler's Rest, to consider what they might do financially to make a gift towards the capital campaign to help with the preservation of the house and our uh, education programs. So I, as president of the board, just want to offer my thanks to all of the various groups who contribute and give to Traveler's Rest. We couldn't do it without you, and so we invite you to uh, be a part of the capital campaign. Thank you so much for your support. Mm -hmm.